Hello everyone, in this tutorial, we'll demonstrate how to add a product in WebPOS. First, visit the login page and use the IMS software's provided username and password to sign in. You'll see the software homepage after signing in. Initially go to Master from the drop-down menu, click on Product Master. Click on the product list, then select the group under which you are about to add your product, click on Add Product. Product Code, as you can see, IMS software will create a new product code for the item you have added when the Auto Product Code Generation feature is enabled. Alternatively, you can also manually enter the product code as per your requirement, to do so you need to enable Manual Product Code Generation feature. Followed by the product name, where you can add the name of that product. Let's look at the detail information, where you can add more details of that product. Product description section, it is just the additional information regarding the product. In this short name section, you can specify the short product name of product. You can choose the default unit, based on your needs for that product from the drop-down menu. In product type, IMS software will select inventory item as the default product type for trading products, or you can choose its types from this drop-down menu as per your requirement. For detailed information of product type please click on I button displayed at top right corner of your screen. Similarly, when you go to the supplier name section and hit enter, IMS software will list already created suppliers. You have to select the supplier from whom you have purchased that product. Let us look into the purchase price, where you have to enter the purchase rate of that product. Category From this drop down, the default category will be displayed as per the product group category mapping. You can also change it based on your requirement. Master item and factor, are used to convert bulk product packing into small units of product for repacking and sales. For detailed information on master item and factor please click on I button displayed at top right corner of your screen. Landing price, it is the updated purchase price after the additional cost entry, otherwise the landing price will be the same as the purchasing price. The IMS software will not allow you to manually write or edit this section. In our other video, we have discussed how we save the additional cost and how it affects landing price. The price that is already labeled on product is the label MRP, all you need to do is enter that amount in this part, for future reference. Let's start by looking at the VAT mode selection, where you may choose whether a product is vatable product or non-vatable product. To do this, tick the second non-VAT item if non-taxable or non-VAT product, and the first VAT item if the product is VAT-able or taxable product. This section cannot be edited after you saved it. Let's go through sales price section, as you can see, there are two box, one contains the including VAT sales rate where you can enter the amount including VAT, while the other has the excluding VAT sales rate where you can enter the amount without VAT or taxable. Retail price, this is the price at which you will be selling the product to customers. It cannot be lower than the purchase price. Wholesale price. Here, we enter the wholesale price if we sell our product to wholesalers where the rate are normally lower than retail price. Interbranch price is used when you transfer products from one branch to another and wish to change the selling price of products for receiving branch, you can enter the new sales price here. This price is only applicable to the companies that have branches and who follow multiple pricing strategies branch wise as a result selling price of each branch may vary with one another for same product. Let's check the selling price by entering the data into sales box. If the product is VAT able, let's try by entering the excluding VAT sales rate. The IMS software will add 13% VAT and the excluding VAT sales rate, and then display the amount in including VAT. If you use a mouse cursor and put it in ink or EXC VAT column, which have decimal number, 
then IMS software will recommend exact value for the product that is larger or less than that. Alternately, you can enter an including VAT sales rate in Inc. VAT column, and IMS software will recalculate its sales price, reduce it by 13%, and display it as an excluding VAT sales rate in EXC VAT column. However, the price you charge the customer for that product will be an including VAT amount. Now, if you select the non-VAT item or non-taxable, VAT will not be added while selling the item, and you can enter the value of that product in including or excluding VAT selling rate, sales rate will be same on both side. Product life, where you can specify how many days the product will last. Now, let's look how does this work. If you enter the product's manufactured date while purchasing the product then, IMS software will automatically calculate the product's expiry date based on the days you updated on product life cell, while adding the product manufactured date. You won't be able to sell that product through that batch if the product life is over, as a result, a warning message will appear expired item detected. On our other video we have demonstrate about item expiry report. IMS software will list discount mode types under the drop-down as discountable and non-discountable. Select discountable if you wish to offer a discount on that particular product during a sale or purchase. Let's look into purchase invoice for discountable. You can enter the discount amount that is based on a percentage here, and it will be displayed in the discount amount box when creating sales or purchases invoice. The discount amount may also be entered directly. Choose non-discountable if you don't want to give any discount in that product. It will not allow you enter anything on discount option while creating sales invoice. Set as discontinue item, it will not let that product to be displayed while making sales, purchases, or both. First tick the box, then choose the default option from the drop down. As you can see under set as discontinue there are few tick box options, let's check the box one by one. Now let's look through is unknown item, it is ticked when an item falls under service item. This means that the item has no stock and no fixed price, and can be modified according to the customer's requirements. Let's look at an example of an unknown item. As you can see the product type of this product is service item. We'll start by looking at the item stock, it is 500 unit supply. You may now sell more of that goods during a sale than you have at the warehouse. The selling quantity is 510. However, if you check the stock of that product after the transaction, it will be in negative. Expiry date input compulsory, ticking that box indicates that you must enter the item's manufacture and expiry dates, on that item is compulsory in purchase invoice, opening stock entry, production entry, and repack entry. If the manufacture date and expiry date are not entered, IMS software will not let you save purchases or sales of that particular item as a result, a pop-up message will appear, expired date is required for item. Sales quantity unknown, is ticked when the selling quantity of the item is not fixed while saving sales invoice. If you have a same product with different unit and price then tick this option to mark it active. Let's take an example of sugar purchased in a 50 kg sack and we can loosen the sack and sell it for variable weights like 1 kg, 1.2 kg, and 1.3 kg loose sugar with different quantities. While posting sales you will be able to insert that quantity in the sales invoice through this feature. Enable variant category, is ticked when the item that you are going to create has various variants, such as color, size, brand, etc. which is mainly used by clothing and garment store. We will discuss about how does enable variant category works in our separate video. Recommended margin, it is just an average recommended margin which is set to the main group. It will be calculated by IMS software and converted accordingly on the basis of purchase and selling price and displayed it in percentage. Alternative unit, is a platform where we map secondary units of product with their respective quantities. You can map different alternate unit of that product at same time 
in our other video we have already demonstrated how to add and map alternative units in detail. Now inventory control, we control reorder level, minimum order level and maximum order level for inventory tracking and, similarly we define product size and dimension details, to assist dispatch of the shipment through transport in this section. For detailed information on inventory control please click on I button displayed at top right corner of your screen. Let's move on to barcode mapping, where you can include the barcode for that specific product. For this item depending on settings, IMS software have features of either generating a barcode automatically on every purchase, or mapping product labeled barcode manually through this section, in case of barcode mapping manually. You must have to type the product's barcode number in the barcode box, select the unit of mapped barcode and click on Add. For detail information about barcode mapping we have demonstrated in our other video. Click on I button displayed at top right corner of your screen. Now upload an image. You can upload the image of the product in this section. Click on Save to keep your new product. We hope this video will help you to add product. If you have any question you can always reach out to us as through IMS support.